before the 2012 season had even begun, the Miller Buccaneers had already lost a big piece of their offense. Make that a very big piece. Wright tackled John Porter towards MCL in a scrimmage against Corpus Christi King, sidelining him for the fall. He was hurt last year as a sophomore, and I guess he realized how much he was, you know, he missed a lot of our football season last year, and then um, he's really upped up his game. The six foot five, 354 pound Porter is back for 2013, and Miller knows exactly how it's going to use him. He's, like I said, very humble and everything else, you know, and he's, he's, but he's got a mean streak to him. You know what I mean? That's one thing I like about him. You know, he's got a mean streak in him and that real build, but, you know, to run the ball behind him. Everyone in a Miller uniform has a favorite story about the big man they've nicknamed Blindside, but Porter's favorite tale takes him back to freshman year. I played defense against, it was against Moody, and the, ta the quarterback was standing up waiting to look for a pass he could make, and my, my opponent, he let me go, and I got around him, and when I tackled the quarterback, everybody on his team and my team just, ooh, and <laughs> The whole crowd and the quarterback got up. At the end of the game, he told me, please don't hit me again. Porter and the rest of the Buccaneers hope to improve on last year's 5-6 and six record when they open their season against Robstown on August 30th. For more on the story, pick up Thursday's edition of the Corpus Christi Collar Times. This has been Kenny Ryan of the Collar Times reporting.